Okay, so we're going to take a look at the um, Bogger spray nozzle, and how to take it apart, and how to fix a couple different things on it. So first, these are the tools you're going to need, flathead screwdriver, Phillips, small crescent wrench, and you know the pliers. And it'll work light if you need it. So you're going to go from right to left, take your flathead, you're going to push this side in, and you put your fingers here on these little tabs for leverage. You're going to push this in, just like so. And then hold it out, put tension, hold it out, and then push the other side. Don't just do one side and pull it out because you can break these tabs. Once you break these tabs, it's going to stop the seal, okay? Get that out of the way. Now you're going to go to right to left. So now you can get Phillips, the driver. You're going to loosen these. I already did this for the video, make it quicker. Thing with this, you put this in here, you screw it, and you just pull it out. Screw in there a lot longer. All right, then you take your crescent wrench, you're gonna size it till it fits this and go counterclockwise. And to do that, just screw it off with your hand. So and you're done. Then there's five screws. There's gonna be one here, one on the other side, and three on the tip. Okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all of them out, twist it a little bit, and take it off. Now you need to take out the spray tip. Now if you're just trying to swap out the spray tip for the gray one which will give you 20% more spray volume then you just grab this with your finger and just wiggle it and just pull it out that's it all right just pull it out all right now you go ahead and take this and move this to the side because this is going to get in the way all right now this is will be in here like this it might drop down once you take everything out now you just need to push it through keep pushing it and then stick your finger in there all right, and I don't know if you can see, get a little bit of a work light in here. All right, All right. And you're just going to keep fishing it out until you get to this black hose. All right, and then you're just going to grab the black hose with your finger, like so, kind of like a hook, and you're just going to hook it out. All right, and once you hook it out, you're just going to fish this out. All right. And you're going to get this, and bend the hose a little bit, right here, and then take it out. That's it, simple as that. Now from here, there is a clamp, which is missing. And just bend this hose until it comes out. Now, like I said, if it's not connected, you don't have to worry about that. Then you just have to pull the hose up into this connection. Okay. There we go. All right. And just pull it off. Now, let's say, like I said, you're going to need this. So if this is rattling in there, you need to dump it out. But if this is inside, and I want to put it in there, for, right, this will just come out on this side. It cannot come out this way. All right. So it will just come out this side if this is disconnected. But you're going to have to connect it this way and put it back in. So once you fish the hose out, just put it back on here all the way. It's nice and tight. You can see right there, okay? Then, take your needle nose pliers. All right. So, and get it back over. Now, you'll usually will see a crease on the hose. So you just want to go back to the same spot. Then take your pliers and go in reverse and just go like that. Push it a little bit to help bend Bend. You can do it with your fingers too. Just bend it back so it's nice and tight. All right now to put it back in. Now once you have this connected, this will fix the issue. Now make sure you do have the unit off. It's not plugged in or battery powered. If the battery's not in there, okay. You don't want any charge while you're doing this. It won't electrocute you, but you don't want any additional spray coming out on you. Now to feed it back in, you're just gonna do it like this, right? Um, you want to get this out of the way. All right. So you just need to bend it back in. Like that. Oh, that's in the way. So like I said, this is going to get in the way. So always try to keep it on one side over here like that. All right. Now you can bend it back in. See, I just kind of bent it back in. Just bent it. All right. Now push that part in right there like that. It starts to go in. And then this part right here, just, just bend it back in. Just push it back in there. All right. Now, what's it going to look like this once it goes back in? Okay. 
Now, all you do is grab the knob, you grab this little black hose here, and you just get it lined back up. You, might, you, know, you don't want it to be all twisted in there, just go by the natural feel of it. Put your finger in here and push this unit back up. And as you see, right? See, I'm just putting my finger right there and pushing up on it. Now, once you have it up, put your ring lock back on there immediately so they'll hold it in place. It's going to go clockwise. Now that's in place, make sure it's nice and tight, that's in place, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Then you just reverse the process, pretty simple. Put this back in, screws, put your tip back in, whoops, put the tip back in, alright. Remember it has to be lined up like I was saying, to match this. Alright, so just make sure the tip's in there correctly. Alright, this, like I said, it has a little grooves if you can see. Right, it matches right there like that. You just put it in and tighten that screw down with the Phillips screwdriver. And then this will just go and just push one side in with your thumb and the other side, right? The other side, just push in and the back, all right? And when it's clicked, it's on there nice and tight. You know, you gotta put the screws back in, screws here all the way around, and you're ready to rock and roll, all right?